Hello everybody and welcome to another chest opening video. I don't know why my game always gets delayed. If anybody has any idea why OBS does that, great to know. I have no idea how to fix that. Anywho, Suns fan here with a chest opening video. We have the Trove Carafe 2018. Not gonna lie, I went through these items and this, uh, it's a pretty good chest. It's pretty, pretty good. Uh, there are eight guaranteed items. They're all immortals, which I'm trying to remember in the past if Trove Carafes were immortals or not. For some reason, I don't think so, but maybe maybe I'm just wrong. Um, it comes with three, or I shouldn't say comes with, you have the chance to get three rares for this bad boy. So in addition, if you add on an autograph, which costs $1 extra, you can support your favorite personality that's at TI. So I bought a Sir Action Slacks one, of course. You can support him. It's in alphabetical order based on first name, though, for some reason. So uh, you have to look for Jake. That is, in fact, his first name. So let's go through each item real quick. And, of course, if you don't know what these do in-game, uh, Neil either should be coming out of the video soon or it's already on the channel. So check that out. In addition, Huskar, as you can see, got a brand new model. I've been hearing about this for quite some time. I was expecting him to come out with uh, a new skill set of some kind as well, but they chose to come out with him. He looks awesome. Oh my God, this is such a good model. Holy jeez. And I'm assuming that this thing on his shoulder is the cosmetic. Is there any way to actually find that out? Uh, da -da -da. It's a shoulder, yeah, shoulder slot. That looks... Amazing, and this changes his inner vitality, which I'm just just my purely one second analysis of actually seeing these in game. I'll just be giving my quick rating. It doesn't mean anything. Uh, it was it was okay. It's an okay uh, spell. Spoils of the Zune. That is the Huskar one. All right, next is the Ogre Magi Gimlik Decanter. We have a little goblet here with ambient effects. Uh, his ability. This is for bloodlust. Uh, I would give this. I'm just going to say terrible, okay, or great, okay? Maybe I'll have some variations. I need a new rating system. Five horse heads. How about that? Five horse heads. The Huskar one is a three. It's very average. Ogre Magi, I would give for Bloodlust um, three. Probably three horse heads. Pangolier, Mask of the Confidant. This is uh, his headpiece. It changes shield crash. I would give this four horse heads. I am a huge Pango fan, so I might be a little biased. Venomancer Cult of the Aktok. Another headpiece. This changes Venomous Gale. I would give this... God, I wish I had w looked at them a little bit more closely because now I'm feeling a little self-conscious, but I'm going to give this three horse heads as well. Rubik, Crux of Perplex. It is... I guess this can be considered a shoulder piece. Changes Fade Bolt. Five horse heads, my friends. This effect is god tier. Very, very good. Really good immortal. Next is the Disruptor Orb of Deliverance. Uh, by the way, I'm not rating the, the way they, they look on the heroes. We're just doing the spells, right? Because if we're doing, based on that, Huskars would be much higher. Venom Masters would be much higher. I'm just doing spell effects only. Um, Disruptor Orb of Deliverance. This changes Thunderbolt. Um, let me double check. Thunderstrike. God, I knew it was wrong. Thunderstrike. I give this actually two horse sets. Not a huge fan of this one. Um, but I'm not a huge disruptor player either. So next is the silencer glaive of Oskila. This one, I would also give two horse heads. And this is a very strict scale, by the way, very strict scale. I mean, it's okay, but I wouldn't write home about it. Changes glaives of wisdom. And the final one that we're guaranteed to get is a Storm Spirit Mandate of the Stormborn. It is a shoulder piece here, a little mini... What is this called? Like a shawl, maybe? Uh, actually, like a Shiva's, huh? Interesting. Uh, this changes actually overload his passive. Uh, I would give this three horse heads as well. The effect is cool, but it kind of, to me, looks a little bit more like... Um, like ice than electricity, but... Uh, you guys let us know what you think about that. And then as far as the rares go, I'm not a big Windrunner fan, Windranger. Sylvan 
vedette. I don't even know what word that is. This change, it changes shackle shot. Five horse heads. This is one of the best effects ever for any immortal that has ever come out. It is really, even if you miss the shackle, you don't feel that bad about it anymore because it just looks so damn pretty. Really, really solid. And it's actually like a little companion on your shoulder too. Wow. I, like I said, I don't play this. I, I really want this rare. It's really good. Next is the Golden Mandate of the Stormborn for Storm Spirit. I didn't actually test this one out. Um, let's just do that real quick, actually, just so I can give official gradings here. And my game crashed. Excellent. That is a good start. Let's try it again. Uh, obviously, it's just going to be the same effect as the regular one, except golden. Having trouble opening Dota. And actually, I, I don't know if you guys had the same issue. My game has actually crashed twice twice now since this update came out. So, um, yeah. Not sure if that's just me, though. Okay, so back in here, we're going to look at this guy. Excellent. Tell me if you agree, by the way, about how high quality this chest is compared to everything else. That's not it, of course. And there it is. So do you see what I mean? Like it, it looks like it's frost. I don't know. But then again, like if they made it more electricity based, maybe it wouldn't look great either. Uh, so this one, I'm just going to give the same as the, it's very average for me. The effect looks cool, but doesn't fit the theme in my opinion. So it'll be three horse heads. And then the final one, which whew, extremely rare, Marana, Axia of Metira. Whew, it's a mount, as you can see, and it's a leap animation. I've already seen this, but you guys are going to have to see this for yourselves. And again, all of these are in another video anyway. I just have to see this again. Oh my lord. Prepare for battle. As you will. This looks so good. Can I give this more than five horse heads? It's not time yet. Hmm. Okay. This is same category as the Windrunner one in terms of how good it is. It might be a little bit better even. This is the best mount for Murana, the best animation by far, the only animation that I know of. It's one, the one animation in Dota, ever since Dota 2 came out, the animation for Leap was always just very, it felt kind of weird. It was almost like a placeholder animation that just never got, I don't know if it's something to do with how fast it happens that you can't really appreciate it, but in Dota 1, it didn't feel like that. It felt more fluid. And this one makes, for me at least, feel a lot more fluid. So glad to see it. I would be happy with Windrunner and Mirana rares, but we, we know we're not going to get that. So let's start the process of opening these bad boys. Of course, I will skip once these rares have disappeared. If I get a Mirana, I'm going to be... Whew. i got to be realistic, though. Oops, I hit skip. My B. I know you guys love to watch the spinning. Come on. Usually I don't get the rares until I've bought like so many chests. I would just like it to happen once where I get the one that I want without having to buy a billion chests. It's not looking good, friends. Not looking good at all. Come on, Marana. Come on, Marana. <sighs> just tease me. You tease me every time. Mm. Mm. All right. I think we have... Should be two left, right? I don't think we've opened the Sir Action Slacks one. Which we'll do last. I'm not sure if they've changed anything with how autographs work. Okay. No rares from those. Can Sir Action Slacks give me the rare? If, if I open this and it gives me a rare, 
you guys have to buy his autograph. Okay? That's how it goes. And I actually haven't gotten the Pangolier, which is the one I wanted the most out of, since I play him the most. Slacks. Give me some good luck, buddy. Good karma. No, you suck. You absolutely suck. All right. I am very sad. I'm usually not actually that sad when I don't get rares because, number one, I don't expect it. And number two, I don't usually think they're that much cooler than the main items. But I am quite sad. The Murano one especially is so good. Anyway, friends, thanks for watching. If you got a rare, go ahead and tweet at us. I'm sure we'll really appreciate it. Um, just rub it in our faces and whatnot. But yeah, let us know what you think of the chest. I personally, as you can tell, very impressed. Horse heads for this chest in general is probably a five, five horse heads. When you have two or more sets in it that are five, then it's a five horse head chest, in my opinion. We need to come out with this rating system, by the way. Maybe we can add something on later where I have a little animation for horse heads. Let us know what you think of my amazing rating system. Thanks for watching, guys. Until next time, Suns fans signing out. Goodbye. Thank <laughs> you.